Africa. Africa. <laughs> Morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Firewatch. We're calling this episode one, and we're really going to get into the game today. I guess I took the boards hey, off my windows. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 yeah. hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? Six. 6.45. Whoops. Huh. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round this. map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What? what Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. West. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those no. fucking fireworks? I see nothing. Was that west? That's south. Here's west. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa. Got him. That's not legal, right? Got him. Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. All right, we're all over it. I picked this one last time. Let's try a little less of an aggressive. You can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, dirty Harry. <laughs> well, get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Okay. There should be one in the supply box on the way. Okay. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. Uh, we're playing a nice guy, I think. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, cache 306 off to our left here. A little more this way. Okay. All right, let's um, get into this game, guys. Let's start exploring this amazing wilderness. I think this is the right trail. We'll double check the map here. Yeah, that's perfect. And we'll try and find that cash box. Uh, I think it contains the rope we need to get all the way to... Here we go. And there's... Oh, space bar. See, that's the athletic version. If you do it at a run, it's athletic. If you do it like this, it's kind of chumpy. I think I think there's multiple animations. Nope, that was the chump one. Yep. Oh wow, this is so gorgeous. 6:45. So, it's late in the day. I think I'm on the right track. Yes, there we go. So, one. Oh, and I hear those fireworks. 1 2 3 4, right? Boom. So what have we got? Uh, oh, copy information. Nice. So this should update our map with whatever routes you see on here. Directing you to caches. A little side... Oh, there is a side trail. Takes us down into Thunder Canyon. Oh, well, that might be a fun way to go. Um, no, we'll go, we'll go the normal way. What else is in this box? Found a note. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. So I locked That's up his lookout. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Guy couldn't take it. Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Nice. So we got that rope, and... People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, not the way I left it open. Uh, tell me this is one of the right paths. Yes, it is. It's the long one, but I like it. 
I hear fireworks. We are closing in. We're going to bring some justice to whoever's endangering the wilderness. All right. I don't know where I'm going now. <laughs> um, yeah, when I first saw the graphics of the game, I figured everything would just be orange. But the lighting is really dynamic. It has this sort of cel-shaded cartoony look. What is this tree all about? Yeah, that's clawed up to hell. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. Fireworks? And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. There we go. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, <laughs> and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. That's true. Bears are disappear. gross. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Well, what about this Christ. thing? This is disconcerting. Uh, the shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. There. Not even named. Here's an idea. called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? <laughs> uh, it's actually English. Oh, map updated. I can't pull my map up up here. I bet we just scribbled Cripple Gulch on it. That happened when I did, uh... My boss is gonna get get, get me killed, Hill. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a hard fall. Um, I've called this in the other time I played. Maybe we just let it go. Maybe we keep it to ourselves. It was fine. No issues. We got down the thing fine. Uh. Okay. Look. Hey. Yeah. 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 Another uh, repel point. I didn't see this last time. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, we don't have the rope for it. Uh, so, we'll have to go the long way. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here, by the oh, way. Oh, speaking of. there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the we'll lake. clean them up. No yeah, problem. Yeah. Just found where they're hanging out. If you're gonna be a good, make a good impression on the boss day one, you do it. Although she'll never know, right? But I want to be a good, good lookout. Oh, oh yes, those are their packs. Okay. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Yeah, let's avoid that at all costs. Uh, and fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. I'll confiscate. Oh. Speaking of. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Uh, I can prevent them from getting drunk. Bye. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Ah, that's the good stuff. I love me some... Irish... Hmm. Uh, we'll save that for later. Hopefully... Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Forgot about that. Out to dry. It looks like, uh, two people. Naked. Oh, uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Naked and getting well, it on. Exciting. Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Alright, got some panties. Now, I <laughs> I guess we're dealing with a couple of naked kids. Naked uh, youngsters. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Wow. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Shut it, kids. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. Hey, I see plenty of boobs. Why do you guys think it's all right to just stare at Screw off, kids. How about this? Hey, put that down. See ya. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. 
light anymore. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country. Huh. That's bullshit, kids. I said sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Jesus, fine, I'll leave and I'll take your stereo with me. There you go. You leave me alone. Okay. No more fireworks. Well, well, uh, see you later, girls. They're gone. It's fine. Situation under control. Hey, did I go okay? Yeah. It went fine. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Hopefully. Good. Thanks for going down there. No problem. Now, I think this was the part of the demo where I got to know Delilah a little bit. She opened up, told me a little bit about herself, asked me about me. So we'll see if that happens again in the full version of the game. I'm stoked for it. Yeah, they made a, a demo build uh, just for streamers and YouTubers to kind of give their viewers a bit of a heads up and a f early peek at the game. And there we go. Come on. There we go. This is kind of gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that sky, these rocks. Very cool. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Um... It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Yep, yeah, you got it, girl. Uh, we gotta find a way back. Now, I did this last time, and I remember coming down this canyon, but, yeah, we're gonna have to make, we're gonna have to cut through up there. Um, I think. Maybe. Maybe we go all the way to Cache 303. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see what, what awaits us at the end of this gorgeous Thunder Canyon. Wow, it gets narrow, eh? Aptly named Thunder Canyon, eh? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because north, of the eh? It just means we'll be busy. Storm out that way. And try not to get hit by lightning. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was <laughs> nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Huh. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Impossible. Lightning I never strikes twice. The sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed what him? killed him? Suicide. Would you oh, believe? God. Lord. Well, that's really getting my spirits up out here. Oh, yeah, another cache. 303 in the map. Let's have a look. The map leads because that trail leads north. Okay. One, two, three, four. Got a flashlight. Pretty sweet. Ah, ah Jesus. <laughs> Copy the information down. What do we got? Okay, let's have a look now. What is new on... Yes, the cave, right. There's a cave that leads out of here. Uh, and it's straight through here. Pretty sweet. Was there anything else of value in here? Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Called an antler, Firstly, son. they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Hello? I bless the rains down in Africa. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> huh. This cave is gated off. 
It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Hmm. Makes sense. Very wise. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Definitely. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. You know, that conversation has so much more meaning now that we know what's going on and what's happened with uh, Delilah. Guys, I think I've got a ways to go to get back to my tower. So we are going to end this one here, staring up at the gorgeous sky and the intimidating storm front that is rolling into Wyoming. Uh, at the end of episode one. Thank you so much for checking this one out. If you missed it, check out episode zero. It gives you a lot of the backstory. Uh, and in episode two, we will carry on. We'll get back to our tower and we'll see what awaits us uh, on the rest of day one. Thanks for watching, geeks, and I'll see you in the next one. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Wow. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us. Shut it, kids. Hey, I see plenty of boobs.